Hello guys, what's going on? It's Exodus Gaming here and today we are going to be doing a sprint function and I'm going to show you how to change the controls. All I'm doing here is making a platform and setting it to be red and a character and I'm going to set him to be yellow. Well that's more like a gold. Yellow. Okay. The, we're going to go in, now go into the character. This is very important. We're going to do movement zero and chain there, which is this, and go change it to platform movement. I'm going to make leave it speed at 50, and then we're going to go, we're going to click next to this movement. And it's going to, you're going to see this symbol here, the plus slash minus, and we're going to click it, and then we're going to click. Um, create new movement which is the box with the yellow splash at the next and then just click OK and this will be 1 so if we go back to 0 here's that and if we go to 1 here's the new one that's also going to be platform movement but you want to change the speed in number 1 to be 100 so then go to the event editor do well, um, just ignore that I don't know why they're there ok we're going to do new condition uh, the keyboard and mouse repeat while key is pressed shift and then drag that down to here as well and negate that one which is basically what was in before but I don't know why that was in there so then we're going to do go under the character and repeat while chef, shift is pressed go movement multiple movements next movement and if it's not pressed movement uh, multiple movements, previous movement. Also, do new condition, character collisions, another object, floor, stop. So, movement, stop there. Okay. So, once you, I'll give you a bit of time to catch up, and once you have done that, I'll show you what it does. Okay. I'm going to show you what it does now. So if we go application, we can move around with arrow keys at this speed, but if we press shift, oh I should have probably explained something to you first. Go to your application here, and then go to window, sorry not window, uh, runtime options, and then scroll right to the bottom of runtime options, and click where it says default controls, click edit, and you're going to get this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click into the keyboard and you'll get this window now. And what we're going to do is we're going to change up to be W, down to be S, left to be A, right to be D, uh, button 1 to be space, and that's it. So once you've done that, it will work. So if we run the application, we can now move around like this, spaces to jump, and if we want to run faster, you just hold shift. Like that. Now maybe that is a bit fast. That that's probably slightly too fast. So we'll go back to our character and go to his movements and go to movement one and change just probably to put maybe seventy. It's probably better. There we go. And that's a way so now we can move around like this with W, A, and D, well, with A and D, and then press Shift to move faster, like that. So yeah, that's how we do sprinting, and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I also showed you how to change your default controls, so I hope that it helped you as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.